Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Mallrat. It is the morning of day 18. I do have a couple of skill points to spend here this morning. I'm gonna put one into Sexual Tyrannosaurus level two and the other one into Heavy Armor level one because I'm wearing heavy armor and my character feels real slow and shit. So hopefully that helps. This storage chest is everything we're gonna need for the workbench and gyro. Managed to craft a wheel last night so we only need two more of those. So that's pretty good for only uh, being here for one day. This is food and first aid. This is, uh, you know, ammo, weapons, stuff that I'll find useful and that I'm gonna need. And this chest is filled with stuff that we're probably not gonna need or use, but I don't wanna throw away. All right, let's get started. We're gonna cruise down the steps over here and then go in through that window that we went in through yesterday. That's right by uh, the Cap's Bird Store and the kale place since we already uh, cleared these stores out and we're gonna get started here oh I love the smell of commerce in the morning we'll start here I guess house of a thousand deses which I'm assuming is a play on house of a thousand corpses now I definitely woke up a bunch of zombies in this POI yesterday because we were right above it matter of fact I think uh, these are the stairs that lead up to where we were, yep. Yeah, there were dogs in here, which we we took care of. Oh wait, hold on. Let me take these apart. You can get uh, mechanical parts from these. Whoops. Damn it. <laughs> well, one computer was holding the other one up. Uh, I'm just getting electrical parts from those, which I think we have enough electrical parts. The main thing we need is steel. Hold on, it might get crazy in here. Let me put Junkie down. Now, I'm pretty sure we woke up a lot of zombies that were in this hallway, but I'm not sure if we woke up all of them. Yeah, there were definitely zombies, like, in these hidden rooms right here. Huh. Maybe we woke up all of them. Yeah, here's the cemetery. We cleared this already. Well, that was easy. So going back to what I was saying, we need steel, a lot of it, like 125 pieces for the gyro. We need an engine and a battery, of course. We need oil, duct tape, leather, headlights. I need a cooking pot, not for the gyro, I just need one. I'm probably gonna craft a forge tonight though, so if we don't find a cooking pot, I can just craft one out of the forge. Uh, we need acid, coal, and plastic parts. Potentially pizza. That means it's potentially not pizza. What could it be? I don't know. Ah, Radio Shock. <laughs> That's a nice throwback. All right, let's clear these two places, which they might be clear already. There's nobody in the fucking mall this morning. Let's make some duct tape, which we need. I think I cleared out, like, most of this level yesterday. I was making so much noise up on the roof. Uh, I'll take that. Coal. Okay, we need that as well. Steel is going to be the biggest thing, obviously. I don't know if we're going to be able to find 125 pieces here in the mall. Maybe. I don't know, though. Seems like a bit of a stretch. Really, all we need to find is the crucible or the crucible schematic, and then we can craft steel and problem solved. Empty glass jar. Look at this patio area. Wouldn't want to be eaten out here when a dust storm rolls in. Alright, let's uh, check Radio Shack. Shock. I don't want to get sued. Pipes. Gonna need those for the forge, actually. Paper. Can I get plastic parts from taking this shit apart? Probably, right? Yep. Plastic parts and paper and electrical parts. We can dump the paper. Not gonna need that. What do we got next? There's an ATM. I don't need to break in there. There are the steps going down to the next level below. We're not ready to go down there yet. Lots of plots. No zombies in there either. None that I can see anyway. 
I think this whole level is fucking clear. Certainly is quiet. Alright, well, shit. Let's, uh, get this done real quick, and then maybe we can even clear uh, another level today. Uh, I'll take the oil shale, because we're gonna need gas. Good on the paper. Alright, well, not much going on in there. Ah, uh, what do you think Sylvia's secrets are? I bet you it's buried treasure. Now we just need to get her to tell us under where it's buried. Get it? Under where? No? Fuck you. Oh, I was totally expecting zombies in the dressing rooms. What do we got here? A hoodie? Nah. A flannel? <laughs> what kind of lingerie store is this? That's uh, some food. I could eat. Hey, there we go. I could use both of those things. I'll make more duct tape with the glue now, and we'll use that bottle of acid to make another wheel later. Not just 25 cents. Well, this is all broken right here. So I imagine... The zombies piled out of here yesterday. Or maybe the bears. Remember, we killed two bears yesterday, and they had to come from somewhere. Uh, BDU pants. I'll put those on in place of the shorts. Let's take the mod out of the shorts, though. There we go. Now we'll just scrap all this shit for the cloth. Hunter mod schematic. A couple of lockpicks. And you know, I'm sure there are plenty of secrets around this mall, but I I think what I'm going to do is kind of just breeze through it. And then once we get to the bottom floor, we can kind of dig a little bit deeper, especially if we haven't found all the th things we're going to need for the workbench and the gyro. Which another thought crossed my mind. Maybe we... I was thinking maybe I just clear the building first so we can level up more and I can put more points in the lucky looter and then we go back and search everything. This way we're at a higher level and we have a better chance of finding the crucible, but whatever. I'm not going to do that. I think it's a good idea, but I'm just going to push forward and loot as I go and Hope for the best. I'd like to get that spider zombie killed. Got him. And we just leveled up. So I'll have to look and see. I don't think we can go into Lucky Looter again. We might have to go into uh, Perception one more time first. Little kitchen area back here. With the cooking pot. Nice. Make some more boiled meat later. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Whoops. <laughs> Big Mama sure knows how to make an entrance. That's fun. Oh, the double mint twins. Actually, the double mo twins. No? Fuck you. <laughs> I love making stupid jokes and then saying fuck you after because they're not funny. That makes it funny. Oh, I'll take that recog. That'll come in handy come horde night because I really think I'm just going to end up running around the mall like a maniac. That could be fun. I mean, if I can get all the way down to the lobby by the night of day 20, then we can build something real quick down there. And then if that fails, then we can just start running towards the roof. You know, that's kind of the plan. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get down to the lobby in the next couple of days. We'll see. I mean, it's going well today. We're just about done with this floor, and it's only 10 o'clock. So I think if we push... We can get the next floor down cleared today as well.
We clear in here? It looks that way. Yep. Well, no steal from that street light. I figured I'd check. First aid kit. Get out of here, lady. Go buy your weed somewhere else. This is my shit. Uh, what do I need for the forge? Stone, clay, leather, duct tape, and pipes. Okay, where's my stone? In here? There it is. That should be enough. It is. We might as well craft it. It's the only way we're going to get the steel we need. Is with the forge and a crucible. Well, just past midday and we are heading down to the next level below. I'm going to take my time here because we definitely didn't wake up any zombies down here. I'm sure we've got plenty of them to deal with. Doralius and Associates. Oh, Dora's got his own store and it's a big one. Oh, he's doing well for himself. That's good. And Associates. I think I know who his Associates are. We can get forged iron from that, but I, I brought a bunch of forged iron with me, so we don't really need to take our time and, and take that shit apart. The clay and duct tape, I could use both of those things. Lead, no. Stone. I don't know why I grabbed that. We don't really need any more stone now that we got the forge crafted. Oh, can he drop the loot bag? All right, let's go get it. Another ATM, which I'm not going to bother breaking into. Uh, yeah, I'll take all that stuff. Might as well start here. Let me just check back here and see if there's anything hiding. Nope, just some trash. Wooden glue, all right. I'm good on the sand. Let's make some more duct tape. More glue. Let's make some more duct tape. And we could always make more glue too, now that we have a cooking pot. Woke up some zombies. There's a spider zombie over there. Oh, it's a nice little hangout spot. Come on, break on through. No? Nope, oh, fine. I'll just go over there then. Oh, now he breaks through, of course. Now you need suits to get them documents. Happy Hymans. <laughs> that was a fun base, I remember that. Let's see if this vending machine works. It does not. We can get some steel from both of these. Well, we got six pieces of steel there in total. Three from each. So if we got that from every vending machine, we would need about 20 more vending machines throughout this mall to get the steel we need. And I don't know if there's going to be 20 more. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I think our only hope is the Crucible. And we got this one skill point. I'm going to put that into Perception, level 2. And now the next time we level up, we can go Lucky Looter again. Uh, I'll, I'll take the Vitamin. I don't need the Pipe Machine Gun. There's no reason for that. We have an AK. Another Vitamin. Yeah, sure, let them stack. A third vitamin. Oh, we're juiced up now. Definitely not getting infected today. Well, no steal from that. A little more coin. We can get a bunch of plastic parts from these mannequins. Absaro Animation. Man, this is some conglomerate they got going on here. We got fucking Dora selling suits. 
Simon selling sandwiches, Thix running a gym out of this place, absaro has got some animation studio here, look at this place. And Neebs has something out front I spotted, we'll have to go check that out once we're done here. Good on the paper. Good on the military armor parts, can't use those. Ooh, I'll take the oil. Got a lot of plastic and electrical parts right here, but I don't think we need any more at this point, so... I'll hold off on taking all that shit apart. If we do need them, we know where to come. Come on in! Okay, then. There we go. And we're just waking them up. That's fine. Gotta clear this floor anyway. Man, they must be breaking out of the animation studio. That's exactly where they're coming from. Maybe a fake wall back there? Alright, let's deal with them and then we'll go check it out. There's another level right there. Let's put that into Lucky Looter before we loot anything else. Hold on. Now's not the time. Let's run them around back by Junkie. So Junkie could do some more work. Oh, we're a little too far. There we go. Come this way now. Oh, I'm glad I brought Junkie with me, that's for sure. Alright, let's go, uh... Lucky Looter, level 2. That should help. Now, I want to see where the hell these zombies were coming from, but I also want to take apart these two vending machines right here. Where the hell were they coming from? They were definitely coming from this room. Oh, we got some loot up there. There it is. That's where they were coming from. Well, let's go for this loot. I don't see a way to parkour up there, so... I'm just gonna make some frames and pole up there. No real need for the AK, but I have been taking bullet tips. Once we get a workbench made, we can craft some more ammo. I'll read both of these. I'll take the first aid and the ammo. That's all I could use. Let's get up over there and see if there's anything in the wall. There's a screamer. Shit. <laughs> Why am I never loaded? What else we got? Well, I don't want to jump down there. Here's a ladder. You think that's a fake wall? Nope. Well, this goes way down. Oh, this is the area. We spotted this area yesterday. Oh, there's some food. I could eat. Some zombies, too. Let's get the food. Nice. Everything but the cornmeal. That looks like we got a crate back here. I heard a zombie, too. There he is. Where are you going? Oh, I see what you're doing, you clever bastard. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than brains to beat me, pal. Ah, uh, Neebs is posted out front of this place, selling potato buckets. <laughs> uh, we don't 
really need food, so I'm not gonna go through the food stuff right now. If we're low on food, I'll come back. Another ATM we don't need, but I will take apart this vending machine, granted it doesn't work. And it doesn't. Cheesy's nuts. Not the most appetizing sounding thing, but I'll give it a shot. First time for everything. Definitely can use the 7.62. I, uh, I do have a 9mm pistol. I'm just going to take all the ammo. Pretty small store here. Maybe there are secrets somewhere, but... I'm just going to move on, because I don't see much going on. Oh, we got a storm rolling in. A sleeper right here. Dead. What do we got here? Got next Mac repair. All right, let's get in here now. There is a crack -a book crate, which is good, and which also reminds me that there is a crack -a book store on the first floor. So that's good. By the time we get down there, maybe I can put another point into Lucky Looter. And if we haven't found the Crucible or the Crucible schematic, maybe we'll get lucky and find it there. The schematic, anyway. Let's see, maybe we'll get lucky and find it in here. Nope. Blackstrap coffee and uh, boozed up. Uh, stun batons and robots degrade 20% slower, so that's good. Headlights, nice, we need them. I need eight of them, actually, and a shitty level... Oh, I'm such an idiot! We need the battery! It doesn't matter that it's a level one. I almost left it behind, because it was a shitty level one battery. All right, looking good. Now all we need is an engine. And, well, still all the steel, but that's good. Found a battery already. Nope. Alright. Moment of truth. Let's check the crack of book crate. There we go. Take the pipes. Make more duct tape out of that glue. And 10% uh, more damage to bears. That's good. Because I think there are more bears in this place. Alright. Our inventory is getting pretty loaded. It's also getting kind of late. But I'm not ready to uh, walk away just yet. Plenty of duct tape. Wow, all the shelves are just wiped out in this place. There's nothing. Nope. All right, whatever. Popping pills. Got some zombies. Oh, he dropped a loot bag. Definitely want that. Oh, we got a zombie in the corner over here. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, a couple more. In Savin's World Travel. Come on out of there. Fuck off, Mo. Okay. Uh, let's go in here first, and then we'll go grab that loot bag. Lucky looter book. Find more junk in loot. It says which means higher quality loot, so... We'll see. Forge recipe that I don't need... Goth pants that I don't need. Shotgun recipe that I don't need. Big ass ammo pile. I'll take the buckshot also. Couple coffees. Might as well let them stack. Alright. Empty glass jar. Oh, we got some loot over here.
Oh, good, because I was running out of lockpicks. There it is! Crucible schematic, baby! What a find! Uh... I don't need that. I mean, I could put it on, uh, a tool. Nah, I'm loaded up. I don't need that shit. All right, dude, holy shit, we just fucking found the Crucible schematic. We can start crafting steel tonight. Savin's world just saved my ass. Let's uh, dig through these sandbags and get that loot bag. Now some food and uh, nine millimeter. And I'll throw that on the floor so the bag despawns. We got some more zombies. Get them, junkie. Okay, then. Nice. Well, we're definitely not going to get through the rest of this floor. Because, um... I'm not going to push it. What a great day. We found a battery, found the crucible. We are on our way to victory. Let's not uh, do anything stupid. We'll search this poppin' pills, and then this is where we'll pick up tomorrow. Uh, I don't need any of that. Or that. Or that. Actually, I'll take that. That blaster cast might come in handy. Well, can't ask for a better second day than that. We can go ahead and get some steel crafting. Oh, no, we can't. Getting ahead of myself. We gotta craft the crucible first, idiot. I got the iron. We're gonna need a lot more soil. And more oil. We need 20 things of oil. I've got 12. All right. Well, now we know what we need. We got to get down to the main floor. We can get a shit ton of clay soil down there. There's some dirt down there that we could dig up. So uh, tomorrow is day 19. Two more days. And then the horde. So I may just push through tomorrow. And try and clear out the zombies and get down to the main floor so we can get the soil that we need and maybe put together a base or something for the Night 20 Horde. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Mall Rat, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.